the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans do not know. Our people do not know. We do everything for the most hot. We go ride and slide for the most hot. We teach and preach in these streets. In the bell of peace, it's a whole vibe. We it's the number one thing in our community. We hate each other. Why? Because we was taught and dumbed down through slavery. We do everything for the most hot. We go ride and slide for the most hot. We teach and preach in these streets. In the bell of peace, it's a whole vibe. We get up, load up, set up, ride through the hood. Ain't go live, it's a pillar die. It's a pillar die. How are we gonna stop the killing in the neighborhood? How are we gonna stop our children from being hunted like prey? We gotta apply the street. We've been beat to dust. That's right. But we come out here to take that dust and build the black man back up again. To build the black woman back up again. To build the black family back up again. So I got a question. So you on the phone with your who? Cousin? With your niece. So you heard the truth before. What have they tell what have they shared with you? Okay, so give me give me she said they tried to share with her, but she didn't listen. Give me Sirach chapter six and verse thirty five. Yeah. Alright, so they tried to tell you because they said, prove to you that that we are the real Jews, that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. So they've told you this before, right? Let's see what the Bible says. Let's see. The book of Sirach, chapter 6 and verse 35. Uh huh. Be willing to hear every godly discourse. Be willing to do what? Be willing to hear every godly discourse. Be willing to hear every godly discourse, right? So your niece has been telling you, hey, that we are the real Jews. But now you're seeing the prophets out here on the streets teaching you again that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. That's right. Read on. And let not the parables of understanding escape thee. See that? The parables of understanding is the Bible. Right. This is the understanding. This is the parables and the teachers, the real teachers. Not these preachers in the Christian church. Right. The real prophets are going to come out here and teach you the parables and guess what? You can't let that understanding escape you. Right. Alright, so we're going to go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and we're going to prove without a shadow of a doubt that we are the Israelites according to the Bible. Alright? Right. That your niece is telling you the truth. Right? You go to church on Sunday? Sometimes you went yesterday, didn't you? Mother's Day, huh? Uh, right. Y'all go to church on Sundays? Y'all, all phrases. <laughs> Good, because there's nothing but lies in the Christian church. That's right. Right? So we're going to prove without a shadow of a doubt that you're not African American. You're not black. You're not Negro. Right? You read none of that. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. So Moses is talking to who in the first five books, right? Who is Moses talking to? What did we learn? Moses went and said, let my people go, right? He went to Pharaoh and said, let my people go. So who's my people? It would be the Israelites. So give me Deuteronomy 29 and 1. Deuteronomy, let's prove that. Because people say that the Bible is for everybody, right? It's not. Moses is talking to a nation of people, one nation of people. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 29 and verse 1. Come on. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel. He commanded Moses to make, these, to, to make the covenant with who? The children of Israel. The children of Israel. So Moses is talking to the children of Israel. Let's go back to where we at, all right? So what happened to the children of Israel? Let's see. Read on. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe, to do all his commandments. So he was like, hey, you got to keep the commandments. He's talking to the children of Israel. Keep the commandments. Read on. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day. That all these curses. So if you don't keep the commandment, all these what? Curses come on. shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, so this is going to be, a, give me verse 46. Verse 46. So, so curses was going to happen to the children of Israel if they didn't do what? Keep the what? Keep the commandments. Read what you got. Verse 46. Come on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Hold on, slow down, read it. Read it again. And they 
shall be upon thee for a sign. So the curses was going to be upon the children of Israel for a sign. So turn around and look at that sign right there. 7-Eleven. That that's a what? Identifying marker to let you know that you wear. That you at the 7-Eleven. So these curses are going to be a what? Identifying marker to let you know who the children of Israel are in the last days. That's right. Read it again. And they shall be upon thee for a sign uh -huh. and for a wonder. You're going to be thinking, like, who are we? Our nationality changes every 10 years, 20 years. We was niggas, blacks, African-Americans, Afro-Americans at one point in time. What else they call us? Colored. Right? Negroes. Who are we? Read. And upon thy seed forever. And upon your seed, many our children. So for generations on top of generations, these curses are going to be for a sign to identify who we are in the last days because we are lost. We the lost sheep of the house of Israel. All right, give me, uh, read on. Because Verse 15, 16. Let's go. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. Curse shall thou be in the city. Now look around, sis. Earlier, I don't know if you was out here. It was a man bugged out, crack. You could tell he was on some type of drugs. Just up, came up here while we teaching. Ah, ah, bugged out of his mind. That's a curse. Prostitution all up and down the street. We know the hood. Prostitution. I've seen our sisters jumping in and out of cars. So when the, so when the uh, ambulance came and the police came, guess where the drug dealers went? Around the corner. Because God said what? Cursed shall thou be in the city. We was going to be cursed all over the world. Whatever city we in, you was going to be cursed in. Read on. And cursed shall thou be in the field. So guess what? Who was picking cotton in those slave fields? That was us. He said cursed was going to be where? In the field. In the field. Cotton fields. Let's name some more fields. Rice plantation. My daddy, my father, was in the peanut plantation himself. He told me. Read on. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. All right, so do we own this 7-Eleven? Do we own this uh, Re Re uh, Regency Inn and Suites? How about that Jack, uh, Jack in the Box right there? Waffle House across the street. Any guy sessions? Where is the chain of grocery stores that we own? It's not there. Because God said what? Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Curse was going to be our baskets and our stores. We weren't going to have no businesses. Right? And a basket is something that you what? You carry something in. So think about your bank account. Think about all of our bank accounts as a whole. Right? Because some got more than others. But guess what? A lot of our people are living in what? Paycheck to paycheck. Because your basket, you weren't going to have nothing to gather in. So think about that, bringing it up to date. Our bank accounts is low. Paycheck to paycheck. Got to borrow money. You at Tennessee Quick Cash. Right. right, trying to get in advance, and they charge you 400%. Running scams on us. Because God said what? Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. Your bank accounts was going to be uh, cursed. Your stores was going to be cursed. You was going to have to depend on another nation to feed you. That's verse 48. Give me the verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall I serve thine enemies. So God says, since you don't want to keep the commandments, you don't, you don't want to serve me, now you got to serve who? Your enemies. Thine now, enemies. Now your friends. Thine enemies. That's in the Bible. That you was going to have to serve your enemies. Another nation of people. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So God sent these people, your enemies, against us. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. So if you're hungry, you got to go to a, another nation of people. God called them your enemies. Read. And in thirst. If you're thirsty, you got to go to another nation of people just to get something to drink. Do we own Jack Daniels? What about uh, Sirach? What about the water companies? Right? You could get tossed in jail uh, for collecting water in certain states. Because God said, hey, you was going to have to go and serve your enemies in want of all things. So we already hit what? Food. We don't own McDonald's, Burger King, Taco Bell, which, which we shouldn't be eating that stuff anyways because it's killing us. Right? We don't own the grocery stores. 
We're going to have to go to another nation of people with identifying who the children of Israel are, and that's us. Read on. And in nakedness. And in naked. Hey, hey, mama, if you're naked, what you need? You need clothes. Do we own uh, the clothing companies? What about the, the, the textiles? Do we own, like, the threads? You know, do we own the cotton fields to make the clothes? That's in the Bible that we was going to have to go to our enemies in order to do what? Eat, drink, be clothed. Read on. And in want of all things. And in want of all things. You want a driver's license. You want a car to drive, right? Well, after you get that driver's license, you need tissue to wipe your behind. You was going to have to go to another nation of people. You ever wonder why we went into slavery? Out of all the nations on earth, it's a lot of Chinese people, ain't it? A lot of them suckers, ain't it? It's a lot of them. Why God didn't send an enemy against them to put them in slavery? Channel slavery like us. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of Arabs. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot, a lot of Arabs. Why they didn't go in on ships in slavery? Why? Because God said, hey, the children of Israel, these curses are going to be a sign for you. These things was going to happen to you. I care for you. Give me that in Amos. Hold that. Give me that in Amos 3 and 1. No. Give me Amos 3 and 1. We're going to prove without a shadow of a doubt hey, that this happened to us. It didn't happen to the Arabs, man. It didn't happen to the East Indians. It happened to the Japanese, the Chinese. Right? They got their stores. They, they, they communities in order. You don't see, hey, you don't see them uh, marching for no justice and no peace. When the last time you see a Chinese man uh, walking down the street, no justice, no peace? No, they got a law passed in five weeks. We've been here for over 400 years and they got no laws passed for us. But when, hey, but when, uh, whenever they was uh, getting persecuted or whatever, and they was talking about Chinese hate or whatever, hate. they got a law passed in five weeks. Joe Biden, your president, gave them a law of no hating the Chinese man. Where is the law for no hating the black man? Bring it out. We still getting hung. We still getting shot down in the streets. Hatred shown towards us. Read what you got. The book of Amos chapter 3 and verse 1. Come on. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, uh -huh. against the whole family uh -huh. which I have brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. He says, you only, sister. I don't know nobody else. I only know the children of Israel. He said, you only have I known out of all the nations on earth. Therefore what? Therefore, I will punish you. I will punish you. I'm going to put you in slavery. You will have to uh, serve your enemies for food, shelter, and clothing. I'm going to punish you. Read for all your iniquities. All your iniquities. Iniquity is sin. And that's what breaking the commandments is. It's sin. That's what the soldier was going over earlier. What sin is? Sin is breaking God's commandments. So since we as a nation broke God's commandments, guess what? We as a nation did what? Went into slavery. Give me verse uh, 68. No, go back to 48 and then we're going straight to 68. Let's go. The book of Deuteronomy chapter... 28 and verse 68 and 48. 48, come on. Therefore shall thy serve thine enemies, uh -huh. which the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things. In the want of all things, you've got to serve your enemies. So who's the enemy, sis, that God sent against us? I'm going to help you out. Don't be scared. Who's the enemy that God sent against us that did that to this man's back? Right? That had Big Mama in the cotton field. Who? The so-called white man. That's right. God sent him as a, a, a weapon, an instrument of war against us. And guess what? They're not stronger than us. They're not smarter than us. But how can one slave master control a hundred black men God put that fear on us the most base people the most vile crazy people on the earth he put over us why because we will not keep the commandments read what you got and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck <laughs> he's gonna do what 
put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. I, when I first came into the truth about seven years ago, right? I Googled yokes of iron on Chinese man. Because I wasn't just going to just hop into anything and believe anything. Because I was raised in the Christian church. But when I actually started reading the Bible, I'm like, this got to be talking about us. So I was like, okay, let's see if anybody else had chains or yokes of iron on their neck. So I'm Googling. Chinese man, yokes of iron on, couldn't find it. White man, yokes of iron on his neck, couldn't find it. Uh, Arab man with yokes of iron on his neck. It's not there. That history is not there. That's our history. That's how we know that the Bible is the truth because he said what? And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. We're reading the Holy Bible and he said the so-called white man was going to put yokes of iron on your neck. Read. Until he have destroyed thee. Right. Until he has destroyed thee. So now we don't have yokes of iron on our neck, right? We're not, we're not in physical slavery, but guess what? We're in mental slavery. That's, right. That's why he says he's going to have the yokes of iron on your neck until, until when? Until he have destroyed until thee. Until he have destroyed you mentally and spiritually. Now you don't know who you are. Now, hey, give them a job and let them uh, work for minimum wage. We're going to tax them and the money's going to come right back to us. It's the same thing. It's the same cycle. Mentally destroyed. We don't know who we are. We don't know who our God is. We don't know where we're going. We don't know where we come from. We don't know the truth. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Right here. Come close, sis. I need to see this. You got to see this literature. Come closer. Come closer. He said what? Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. There you go right there. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Oh, son oh. to Master Charles in Virginia. You see it? The Bible's a true book. Sons and daughters, so. I like that bait. You see that? Our kids. Sown in slavery. And before the white man came at us, guess who else had us? The sub Saharan slave trade. Have you heard of that? The sub. The Arabs. <laughs> And to this day, they still got us in slavery over in Dubai. Right. They got these Instagram models. I don't know if y'all know. They got the Instagram models going over there and doing all kind of hideous things. Making the Instagram models toilets. Human toilets. For $50,000. That's what's going on. The Arabs are still doing that, oppressing our people to this day. Right. Read. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Uh -huh. And thine eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might no in might. thine hands. No might? No might. No might, meaning no strength in your hands to get your kids back. So when Master came and got your kids, what you going to do? Did we have an army? Did we have any economical might? Could I put your, uh, uh, my little dollar and your little pennies together and buy our kids back? We couldn't do it. That's how we know that we are indeed the children of Israel. So we used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.